What is up, YouTube? This is Pearson. I just want to show you my drawing that I just completed, and I'm quite proud with how it turned out. A few things I want to kind of talk about briefly before I finish up this video. This make it really short and quick, hopefully about a minute or two. Um, anyways, the first thing I want to kind of point out is I'm really quite happy with how the eyes and lips turned out. It's probably one of my um, most in-depth layering effects. Uh, with regards to the eyes. If I uh, kind of bring out the layers here, if I can, foreground colors, fine, whatever this is, final details. I don't have the the eyes labeled. I think I got some. So you got the eye highlight, eyelashes, soft light, darken, which is for the eyes, glow, glow. These are eyes. Uh, I think most of these might be parts of the eyes. Um, so at least 10 layers were attributed to the eyes. Uh, maybe when I get more experienced, I won't have to use that many layers. Um, but, you know, I'm still learning. Um, and I think I also have probably just as many layering effects for the lips. I'm, I'm not sure. I got to. Yeah. So you have the mouth and all these layers proceeding are kind of the, the mouth area. So I have a good five to seven layers that are just delegated to the mouth. Um, so if you look at the background, you have green, yellow, and red. That was uh, per request from the customer. The customer wanted the background to be the colors of the Rastafarian flag. And I tried my best to be as reserved with the background abstraction as I could. And I, I wanted to still have the, 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 um, the aesthetic that I shoot for with the background, but I didn't want to go so overboard that the colors and the, uh, the the colors of the Rastafarian flag got lost. So I spent a significant amount of time just being very minimal with the execution of the background, and I think I was pretty successful in, with that with regards to that. Um, and another little funny little Easter egg: uh, the the signature. Um, I probably spent about an hour on it, an hour to an hour and a half. This is uh, not abnormal for me, where I get so OCD that the color of the signature is very significant for, for no reason at all. But I spent a lot of time trying to decide what color I wanted my signature to be. Uh, it, at first, it was like yellow or green, but I felt that was too uh, distracting. Then it was uh, white, which I thought to myself, you know what, I never use white for signature. And so I decided to use white for a while. And I said, mm, that makes me too uncomfortable. Then I tried black. Um, I felt that was too dark. I wanted something to, like a dark tone, but I didn't want it something to be like just the absence of color. So um, I decided on using a like a red tone with a layering effect on there. Oops. A red tone with a layering effect on there that had uh, that still kind of was transparent, but dark enough that it wasn't that it was visible but not so dark that it was uh, like distracting on the bottom half there so i so that was um that was something i had to deal with near the end was like something that I wasn't expecting to do was which is spending a lot of time playing around with the the, the colors of the signature well anyways that's all i wanted to, that's all i wanted to talk about uh, my next image I'm going to be working on will be a dog, which I believe will be a beagle. I'm not sure. I, I think I've wrote it down on the actual uh, file name, so it might be a beagle. I'm pretty excited about starting that one up, and I want to show you. I'll be showing you a video uh, kind of discussing where, what stage I'm at with that piece next, I think, probably tomorrow. Anyways, YouTube, have a wonderful day. Uh, Pearson out.